Hello, welcome to another unwrapping. This time, release today, season 19, Doctor Who classic series, Peter Davison as the Doctor. And this is the second full season release on Blu-ray for the classic series. Uh, like a fool, I didn't buy the Tom Baker one because I heard there was a disc wrong and it said um, limited edition um, packaging. So I naively thought that, oh well, they'll bring it out and correct the disc problem and um, I'll still be able to get it. If I'd have known now that I can't get it and it's going for about between 250 and 300 on Amazon, I'm really upset. I just hope that they might they might bring it out again. So anyway, I got this one on order. There's also another Tom Baker one coming up, his last season, which sort of is the other end of this one, really. Uh, oh no, this is, this is the Adric sort of time, isn't it? So this one here replaces a lot of DVDs that I've got, like I said, I had a visitation and I had a visitation special edition as well. So I'm hoping that all of what's on here, it's got the extra disc with that one, obviously, is um, all on this, I hope. But to get it on Blu-ray, hopefully it's um, been tastefully done. Yep, it's also this one. Doomsday, Black Orchid, Kinder, sort of the snake ones. This one is Maratels. Two Maratels, Kinder and Snake Dance. And the other one, uh, Time Flight, this one. It's one of the two there. So I've, I haven't got one. Actually, I just realized that I haven't got um, Earthshock. At least I don't think I have. I'm gonna have to have a look. I thought I would have, this must be on a Anyway, so all these aside now, let's see what we get in this packaging. So it's um, a sort of cardboard packaging with um, a bottom part that it sort of sits in. It looks like it's made out of paper. Let's have a nice close up there of that picture. Not much to see there really. There is on the back though. DTS, Dolby Digital, good. Right then, let's open it. So I said, I wish I would have bought the Tom Baker one. I had it on my wish list, I was gonna buy it. Shouldn't have read all the uh, comments about that disc being wrong, because apparently they, they can uh, change the disc anyway, so I really do regret it, so that's not gonna happen again. I hope they bring them all out like this, so I can get rid of all these DVDs. Look how much space it saves. You know, I does it save that much actually for think of it? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So I've got you know, one more DVD, but so I've got one missing. Earthshock's not on there. So yeah, makes a little bit more space. But it's nice not to have to go backwards and forwards to the player and have more on one disc. That's much more fun. So it's um well, I, I thought it was quite shiny, but no, it's quite a matte finish, actually. There's eight discs in this one. So we have got 5.1 surround sound mixes for Kinder and Earthshock, okay. Extended episode Black Orchid. Extensive studio recording tapes for all studio footage from Castrovia. For to Doom Day, Earth, Earthshock and Time Flight. Optional updated special effects, but only for Castrovia, Castrovia. It's been a while since I've watched a Peter Davidson one. Tonight I will be watching some Peter Davidson uh, Blu-rays. All right, so, oh, it's, it goes right the way at the back, this thing. So it sort of sits in this. So it's, uh, it's got a nice uh, TARDIS flight photo there on the back. That uh, photo drawing. Okay, let's see how it's presented. So, because I didn't have the other one. Okay, so it's presented as 
leaves of plastic or pages of plastic with the discs in that looks okay in fact that will keep them much better than any slip cases will because it's nice and easy to remove straight from these and straight back as long as these don't break and the trouble is of course if these break then you've had it but you can't replace these bits like you can with a CD jewel case so you have to treat them carefully oh, there's Adric he's there I didn't mind Adric actually I think it was all a bit BBC posh though wasn't it everyone sort of talked quite posh there were no regional accents like there are these days So that's quite nice, we get like what looks like one episode on each Blu-ray. Oh, episode. God, I'm really stumbling over my words today, sorry. Each adventure on one disc, which is rather nice. Shock time flight. Ah, okay. This sort of forces the bottom up a bit, so you have to sort of be careful with that bottom one, otherwise it's going to lift it off of its backing there. So I guess they could have presented it in a smaller fashion, actually, because these take up quite a bit of room, but considering there is, you know, a whole adventure on each disc. So just to reiterate, Castrovola, Four to Doomsday, Kinder, The Visitation, Black Orchid, Earthshock, Time Flight, and the bonus disc. Right, so we've got a really nice TARDIS photo there, a drawing. Oh. That's nicely done. And yes, we've got a TARDIS interior. Well, that looks a lot neater than I remember it looking now. It's quite stylized, quite like that. So let's see, this is all we've got here is this booklet. Let's see what we've got in here. I loved it because it was a part I'd grown up watching. Okay, you may wish to pause. Ah, right, so each disc we've got a, let's see, have we got a, got a page and a half on the first disc there? Oh good, so we've got, we've got a bit to do with each disc like you would have got in the inside of the DVD, telling you what's on there and probably story or development and recording. Oh, some, some interesting info. Not just telling you what the story is, actually what was going on. Rehearsals here mentioned. Right, I'm just going to scan through these. So if you wish to read them, you can pause and read. This guy really does remind me out of Hitchhikers. Really does look like some out of Hitchhikers Guide to Galaxy, the, uh, the BBC one that is, not the film. Oh, I hope they do um, the really early ones. I'd like to have some um, of what they've got now of all the Hartnells, Tritons, and, and my doctor, John Pertwee. So that's who I grew up with. In fact, I sort of grew up with Tom Baker as well, but I was so annoyed that my doctor had gone. I didn't watch them for ages. So um, when I watched them, when they were on UK Gold in the 90s, some of the uh, Tom Baker ones I'd never seen before. So it was a real treat, actually. So I'd come back after going out raving all night, and on the Sunday, 
chilling out and watching a Doctor Who recorded off UK Gold. It was a really nice uh, time in my life, that. That's quite a nice booklet, isn't it? So I'm not going to talk about the episodes. I mean, I would imagine most people... Well, I wonder. Leave a comment, let me know. I wonder how many people would buy this who've, who have not seen them and uh, are actually joining the classic series for the first time. Because some of the new series is a bit hit or miss. I've just I've just watched the the most recent one, which is the end of um, Jodie Whittaker's first uh, year. Now I've just found out that they they're not having a Christmas one. They're moving it to New Year's Day, and then there's not going to be another uh, series till 2020, which is a real shame. So you know, over a year with no Doctor Who. I expect all the ones that moan on Facebook about it being. The new Doctor Who not being as good would still moan that there isn't any Doctor Who for a year, so. It's been quite nice um, doing what Doctor Who used to do, you know, the Roads of Parks thing, the partition, Pakistan, it's doing actual history, which was, uh, I think, how Doctor Who first started with Hartnell, with the Romans and the Aztecs and all this sort of thing. It was meant to be like a, a sort of a history programme as well. For me, I think the new series has been okay, but we haven't seen much of the TARDIS. Usually it's quite sort of TARDIS oriented. All you ever see now is, and you don't even see him getting out of the TARDIS half the time these days, it's just in the background and maybe at the end. So uh, I was a bit upset that there weren't more messing around in the TARDIS parts. Because uh, you do get them in these where they're sort of in the control room talking and. Uh, do you remember when they went off and they found the cloister room, where they did the cloister bell? It rings far too uh, much in the more modern series. But um, I can remember it only ringing once or twice in um, John Pertwee's tenure. Did it ring at all? Yeah, I think it rang once. I'm sure as a Doctor Who fan, it might put me right about that. Well, there we are. That That is a rather nice book. I like the drawing on the front here. That's really nicely done. And the uh, TARDIS on the inside there. I do like this paper plates or whatever you want to call them. I do like that. It's sort of timeless, isn't it? I'd like to see it go back for one season. Or or if they travel back in time. In fact, they did, didn't they, for a while? Did the um, Impossible Girl, did she have a TARDIS? It was very much like an older TARDIS. And she went off in it, didn't she? Souffle Girl, I mean. Well, there we are. So this is held together with a little uh, hook and eye fastener. Yeah. We preferred a little magnet there, actually. It's a bit... Well, it does the job, doesn't it? It's a bit bulky, though. So there we are. So this is the new Doctor Who Season 19. And there we are. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.